A warm welcome to the Baba Yara Stadium here in Kumasi's match day 18 in the ongoing Ghana Premier League. It's just the, about the second round getting underway in earnest. And the Baba Yara Stadium come true. So Dunlad will start in goal and uh, in front of him will be the likes of uh, Japong, Yusuf, Ismail, Ganiyu and uh, Charles Owusu Warriors just before the end of the uh, first round. On the other hand, it's Abdul Karim Azito who is going to be sporting a 4-4-2 formation today, which means that the likes of Ali Huzaf will be starting the game at Geneva here today. Officials for the afternoon, Ms. Bao Mohammed, together with Suleiman Adin and Amma Kenneth, will lead the uh, battalions onto the field. Jacobs, Miki Amegache from Akachi in the Volta region is our match commissioner. Healthy rivalry expected here this afternoon between the Porcupine Warriors and Dreams FC. 90 minutes of action and the time definitely will tell who carries the blue ribbon at the end of it all. But for the Porcupine Warriors, staying at home, it is a charged atmosphere here. And uh, good to see the players all hail and hearty. Both coaches have given clear indications that apart from the regular players who are on the uh, uh, injury list, they have quite a clean and a the injured Ibrahim Moru and of also a start for Justice Play, who plays and starts ahead of Budasiru Salifu. But Dalat Ibrahim will be the safest pair of hands in post for Kumasa Santi Koroko. The back four of guesting a Japan will be on the right side of defense. You see, to Karim Zito also makes two changes to the team that won against Midiema, breaking the home invisibility of Midiema SC. He's making two changes in that squad that won against Midiama. Yakubu Isa and Kweku Kakari all missing from the starting 11. But in the starting 11, it's a 4 4 2. Augustine Kumsi gets to keep his place in post. Maxwell. He will still continue to look for the points as we walk you through some of the highlights of the game. And on this occasion, it was Ganiu whose uh, free kick went wide. Richmond Lamti had opportunities coming forward, set up uh, Dixon Nafuakwa. The cross was dealt with by Dreams FC. Kumsen nearly gave that away, but gathered nicely. Lamte, a few decent crosses also came from him during the very first half. And the storm was weathered nicely. Dreams FC had the opportunities as they also came through. Ali Huzaf keeping the ball in play, but that was the clash. Where Isa went down together with Charles Owusu when Charles had to be substituted. Isa had more opportunities, but Dunlap to the rescue on that occasion and eventually cleared out before the ball could cross the line. That was some quick thinking by the defense of Kotoko and a very good reflex save from uh, Dunlap Ibrahim and it was Yusuf Mubarak who cleared out. Second half started in earnest and Kotoko pushed from all angles. Long cross there, but again dealt with by the agile uh, Kumsen. Then that cross came in and it was saved. Reflex save by uh, Kumsen. That header was from uh, Justice Blake. And the cross came in and Issa completely misplaced the uh, header. But here is where Richard Buedu, a.k.a. Agadas, took off, found Richmond Lamptey, thread a pass to Imbella. And Imbella went down after that tackle from goalkeeper Kumsen. Referee was closer to the spot and clearly signified for a penalty. Frank Imbella elected himself to take it and he did not disappoint. First goal for Mbella, first goal for Kotoko. And this obviously put Kotoko in some form of commanding uh, gameplay here at the Baba Yara Stadium. Gave the ball away too easily. Mbella, first shot hit the goal post. Second one, roof of the net. Goal number two, done and dusted. Kotoko clearly in the driving seat. And again, it was a poor reflex from uh, Kumsen on that occasion. And uh, Infege also had an opportunity. He came close, but uh, missed it uh, completely. So that Kotoko a beating Dreams FC by two goals to nil. I have here with me the head coach of uh, Dreams FC. It's Coach Abdul Karim Zito. Coach, good to talk to you again. But when you have such a vintage performance in the first half, and earlier on in the second half, and you created <laughs> some big openings, but you couldn't take them. How, what what kind of feelings do you get on on the touchline? Well, seriously, um, I'm disappointed in my place. 
we strategize well, we stop Kotoko from playing, we create a lot of chances, and then we should, we should have it, it, equal, uh, beaten Kotoko from the first half, about three or four goals. And then we came in the second half, we had an opportunity again, we squandered it. Now, we coaches, I mean, teach them how to basically how to score. By putting the ball into the net, is the ability and capability of the player. You understand me? He is on the show. So I, I, we, we have to blame ourselves because we did everything possible to win this match. And then we had the opportunity, but we could not take it. Let me single out one player here, Ali Usaf, who yeah. got all the opportunities. In the first half, he got two opportunities. In the second half, he got another glaring one. Now, when you went for recess, what did you tell him? I told him, I told him, look, you, 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 you have to stop dreaming. It is you, Ali, who is playing. And we created the opportunity for you to score. You have to put the ball into the net, not me. So if you have all these chances, you don't score. No, that is why I always say it is, it is injustice to, 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 to uh, I mean, judge coaches by, 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 by result. But if they didn't perform well, it's my problem. But putting the ball into the net, as I said, is a, is a, is a player, it's not me. Let's talk about those two goals you consider. You yes. feel your defense could have avoided those two goals? Yes, it's, it's, yes, they should have. They should stay focused and look at just a minor mistake. Kotoko capitalized and then they, they make it their own. So you see, uh, we lost not out of the game, but we lost due to the uh, 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 lack of focus from my, 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 my voice. Well, coach, we wish you all the best. Thank you. And thank you again. Thank you again. So that was the head coach of uh, Dreams FC. He doubles up as the technical director for Dreams FC. Having a chit chat with you, it was Karim Zito a moment ago. Now will be the turn of uh, Coach Prosper Nante Ogum. And uh, <laughs> Coach Corrad Lishes. Thank you. Yes, you've got that result again. Just like the first game, you left it late to provide those two wonderful goals. But take us through the game. Dream Selfie had some big openings, big moments at that time. What was wrong with your defense? I think we lost, we lost the balance um, in defense in terms of our structure and shape at the back. Um, and we gave them uh, a lot of 1v1 situations, created a lot of spaces for them which we didn't cover. So as a technically good side like Dreams, you expect them to use those spaces. So that was why around those times uh, were caught some of the times. But then I think uh, later with Sharif going there, it brought some stability and uh, we were able to keep to our shape. Let's talk about those two goals. And again, it was the man everybody is talking about, Etuga, who got those two goals. But in the first half, he looked like a passenger in the game. What was lacking in the first half that, that he got in the second half? I think uh, in the first half, uh, in the, um, he was not getting the needed supplies in the first half. Even in the second half, the, the supplies did not really come. I mean, typical of a, of, of a good marksman, he just had one opening and he was able to create that penalty and he was able to score two. So I think in the first half, the supplies were not going to him. And even if they were going to them, to him, they were not going to him at the right time, at the right place. And it gave dreams the opportunity to clear the alliance and cover quickly. Now, it was not a vintage performance from commentary position, but even with that, you still managed to put two goals past Dreams FC and you kept a clean sheet. What else can we say about Kotoko and what can other teams do to stop Kotoko? I, I think fatigue is setting in and uh, as I said earlier, we didn't have the, the, some, some days off. Uh, it's been training, training, playing matches, so it's fatigue. But then uh, all over the world, I mean, uh, good teams uh, are able to win even on a very bad day, on a very difficult day. So I think it's good uh, for the team that even though we didn't play as expected, uh, the few chances that we got were able to create uh, goals out of it. And I I'm happy because the, the, the aim of the, of the game is to score and get the three points. Sometimes it's not about how beautifully you play, but it's about how you get the points. And I think that was what we did today. We were able to get the points. I'm, 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 I'm thinking of 
how to structure the training program, give them some rest so that they can recover fully and get back on track. Coach, congratulations. Thank you.